This is Rakus, an orangutan. In June 22, 2022, he was seen with a wound. Three days later, he started eating the stem and leaves of Fibruria tinctoria, a medicinal plant. He spent about 13 minutes eating the plant, chewing the leaves, and applying the plant's juices onto his wound. Within five days, the wound had closed. A month after the injury was sustained, it appeared to have fully healed. Dr. Isabel Loma, together with Caroline Shipley, led a team of cognitive and evolutionary biologists from the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior and Universitas Nacional in Indonesia to undertake the study. We think that this behavior was intentional because he repeatedly applied the plant sap over and over again for seven minutes and then in the end also applied the more solid plant matter on top of the wound. And he also did that for an extended um, period of time. And we don't know if he observed individual innovation or even um, if he had learned that behavior in the past. So it could be that he accidentally touched with his finger and the plant sap on it. He has accidentally touched eventually his wound. And because this plant has these potent pain relieving substances, it could also be that, you know, from touching it, that he felt an immediate pain release and then continued with this behavior all over again. The other option is that it's socially learned and it's possible. I mean, we don't know that his um, the orangutans in his birth area actually may, might even show this behavior. And he has maybe, maybe learned it from his mother or another orangutan and then later applied the behavior himself when he was injured. The findings of the research is expected to lead new insights into the evolution of self-care and medicine in great apes. The medicinal plant used by Rakus, Fibruria tinctoria, has several medicinal properties. This plant is a quite a potent healing plant used in ethnomedicine. So it's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. The plant is also used, for example, as a treatment for diabetes or also malaria. The research findings on Rakus the orangutan highlights the importance of medicinal plants and wound treatments and other ailments. In Africa, herbal treatments are the most popular form of traditional medicine, with 70 to 80 percent of the population using it as a form of primary health care. In Ghana, the Center for Plant Medicine Research is at the forefront of conducting scientific research into plant medicine. Tonio Asafuije is senior research scientist and head of plant development department at the center. You hardly would see an animal doing that unless you pay attention to the animal's uh, lifestyle for some time. So it was an amazing um, observation that was made and it tells us that indeed there is a, a therapeutic value in, in plants, even to the extent that um, animals aside humans are using it. He called for more research on the use of medicinal plants in Africa. Some funds should be allocated for such research, you know, like the CSIRR, the Center for Plant Medicine Research, Atomic Energy. Those research institutions should be allocated some funds to be able to do such observations that can you know, help us to identify species like uh, this uh, Fibroria uh, tinctoria that has been used by this ape. Now that it has been shown by the ape that it can uh, cure or heal a wound. The next stage is to go for this plant. It's going to be like the next Artemisia annua, which now all the malaria-based combination therapies are, you know, it was a derivative from that plant. For Dr. Isabel Loma and the research team, this documented behavior suggests that medical wound treatments may have originated in a common ancestor shared by humans and orangutans. Poshe Gaboti with the news. Accra. Yeah. Yeah.